Hello there everybody, how is it going? I am back, I have now picked up a complete booster box of the new Munchkin set, Fashion Furious. So I'm going to open that up for you guys right now. This is the set which I did get a few preview packs from, which I did in a previous video. But the set just officially dropped, I think, end of last week, was the official release date. So, we can take a look through and see what we get in here. Alright, usual organized play stuff on the top. There are four new organized play promos associated with the set. Uh, usually you get one of them in the box. Let's see if you do it again. Aha, there we go. We have Alpaca Wanderer. That is the first promo from the organized play kit. The other three will be available through tournaments. Uh, the Alpaca Wanderer is one that you do get for playing in tournaments too, but they give you one in the box just in case you, you know, open up some stuff and you don't have a hero. They give you something to use so you can actually play the game. All right, let's get started opening these up. One thing to note is it is just me here today. Unfortunately, Laura has been pretty ill recently, so she is not going to be able to feature in the videos for a little while. Um, hopefully, she'll be back soon. We just wanted to get this one up for you guys since the set is pretty new. All right, there's some commons. First couple of uncommons. And our first rare, Smarter Martyr. Two gold for a one health ally. If this is committed to a fight and the attacker is caught cheating, unzap this and move it to your horde. Okay. I had a look through the set list again this time. I think there's only, 20, there's only actually 24 different rares. Uh, then there's a handful of very rares and a single we destroyed most of these rarity cards. So hopefully we will see that one as we go. Oh, and I've just noticed actually that one is a very rare there, right at the front. That is Bovine Colossus, 6 gold for a 5-5 five five in green. When this is in your stash, your opponent's rank limit is reduced by 2 stars. That's pretty cool. Alright, some more commons. That one's quite nice, I really like that art. Swift Taylor, we saw that one in the preview video. Oh, he's a cool dragon. I do like dragons. All right, and next rare is Hand Tullope. That is a three gold for a two X in orange, where X equals the number of cards in your hand. Huh, that is interesting. That is definitely a different way to go about things. All right, pack number three. So again, as I've said in previous videos, there hasn't actually been too much of a playing community around here for the game. Um, there's a few people, I think, who tried it. It just didn't really take off, but I'm kind of enjoying collecting it, so the videos, I hope, will still keep going. And we just really like the artwork, too. Uh, Choreographer is an extra. It is a two-cost ally in orange, has three toughness, and it heals one each time you play a Mischief. So, it's alright. Elaborate Disguise, that one's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, we have Screamstress, that is a two gold ally in blue. Uh, two toughness, zap, gain a gold, then deal one damage to all allies you control. Huh. So a way to just gain some gold but you would be sacrificing any allies you had that were just one toughness. Okay. I have heard as well there are going to be some... There are like the premium... or not the premium, sorry, the uh, gift boxes coming out soon, which have a pack of each set and a couple of promo cards, so I'll hopefully be picking up at least one of those when I'm able to get my hands on them. Uh, this is a Dappleganger. That is one gold for an ally in red. One health. When this and a weapon are both committed to the same fight, unzap the committed weapon at the end of the fight. A lot of allies at rare so far. Uh, let's see. I've looked through the, the actual set list, but I didn't read the spoilers on the cards, so it is possible just there are a lot more allies at rare. 
All right, we have Cro Crocodile Ponder, another ally, this time in green. One gold, one toughness. Discard one monster from your hand to regenerate. <laughs> Interesting, so a way to just constantly block if needed. All right. That one's kind of cool. Velocipede. All right. We have got... Hey, Sparkle Beast. We saw her in the preview video too, and she is actually the... Uh, artwork on the box and on all the packs for this set. So two gold for a 3-1. When this is squished in a fight, choose one armor card in your discard pile and move that card to your stash. And uh, she was in colorless too, so you can actually use her in any deck, which is always nice. All right. It is sometimes hard to see when you're flipping past uh, anything out of the ordinary like the V's just because they aren't always in the same order. All right, we have Shrug, which is a two gold mischief interrupt. In orange, ignore target mischief as it is being played. That card is stash and it only returns the gold for it to their purse. It has Encore. I don't remember what Encore does. Like I say, don't actually play the game. But I'm guessing it's a one that lets it just keep going. Maybe you cast it from your stash or something. Not a mystery. Oh, I just realised on the second time looking at Velocipede, that is a very rare card. <laughs> Glad I saw that one a second time then. Uh, that is a one star loot, and you can zap your hero card to draw a card, then move one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. So basically, it gives any other hero the Thief's ability, which of course is great, um, but if you think, if they're having to print a, if they think that the ability is good enough that people would play a loot card in order to get the ability, that does still say something about how good the ability actually is just starting the game with it, but you know. They did obviously nerf it recently, which was great because it was ridiculous. All right, extensions, a yellow mischief curse, one gold. Stick this to target weapon. That weapon gains two points of toughness. Put the boss speed over there. Right. Oh, this is the rare, and then there's another common behind the rare. Okay. Uh, Gold LeMay Goblin. This is a zero-cost monster. It is a 2-1, and you have to pay one gold or squish it. Interesting. So I guess it kind of means you can uh, send it into a fight without committing the gold yet. Maybe make your opponent think you're either bluffing or that it's... Uh, a much smaller creature and then you get a choice of making the gold paying the gold or not when it flips up all right battle dress this is a two star loot and you can zap to reduce the power of target hired monster by one for this fight it's always good So the way they made these packs, they're actually a lot harder to open than they were in previous sets. It just doesn't tear all the way down them. But they do... They're just made of different materials, so they're not as rigid. But... It, which is good in most ways, but it just kind of is... It, it makes it less effective, the rip-tear thing they put down the side. Alright. Rare is faux paw. Faux paws. Nice. Uh, this is a three-star loot in red with two fight and zero toughness. And it's Zap Bravado. Flip your runaway marker from runaway to limp away and deal three damage to target hero. That seems quite powerful. So it's uh, if you don't use your runaway every turn, then it's basically lightning bolt, which is nice. Okay.
Okay, uh, Runaway Model. This is a two cost ally with three toughness and when you run away it heals one. Okay, next perk. Let's see what we have. Hopefully you guys like my setup today too. I had to change it up a bit since I'm filming in a different location to usual. Ooh, we got another V rarity. Uh, this is a one cost mischief curse in purple. Clearance rack. Stick this to target location. When any hero draws cards, their opponent also draws one card. If more than one copy of this card comes into play, squish all copies of this card. That's interesting. See, so yeah, in my background, I uh, had to set up in a different room rather than being at the kitchen table, so... Hope you like it. And an X-Ray. Lutium Whelp. This is a one-cost dragon in green. It is 2-1, and you can zap one loot to reduce the gold cost of this by one. Not too bad. Oh, another V-Rarity. After Party. Uh, location. During each hero's cooldown, that hero rolls the die. On a 1 to 3, all stashed monsters take 1 damage, or on a 4 to 6, the die roll has no effect. Huh. So that's a interesting one. You might kill some more of your own creatures that are stashed, but your opponent also has to do the same. Alright, Sock Full of Rhinestones. This is a 1 star loot. It is a 1 0 in purple. Zap, move one token from target card with a collect ability to this card. This gains one toughness for each token on it. Hmm. So you have to slowly build up its toughness, but once you do, if you keep building it up, if you get down early, then eventually it's going to have a toughness that nothing can really get through, which is pretty good. Just have to make sure that the game goes long enough for that to be relevant. All right, we have Catwalk. This is a location. It comes into play tapped. Uh, during each hero's reckoning step, that hero must move all unzapped loot from their horde to its owner's hand. Alright. Okay. Next pack. I'm hoping I didn't miss any uh, Vs going through earlier. I'll have a double check at the end. Alright, we have Juice Cleanse. That is a Mischief Treachery in red. Costs X gold and X equals the... Star value of target weapon you control. Squish that weapon, then deal X damage to target hero, and squish target loot with X star power or less. Alright. I like it. So wait, deal some direct damage and deal with one of your opponent's cards just by sacrificing one of your own. Okay. Then we have full power again. Or full pause. We saw that one just before. Kind of sucks to get a duplicate rares in a box, but it's, I guess, with only 24 rares, if it didn't happen, you just know that a box is always going to get you the full set. So, I guess they have to duplicate them up sometimes. Then we have Smarter Martyr. This is a yellow ally. Costs two gold. It has one toughness. If it's committed to a fight and the attacker is caught cheating, unzap this and move it to your horde. So, send them in when you think they're cheating and you get to use them again. I like Snob Bear. I think I mentioned this last time, but I like Snob Bear. Uh, Screamstress, we also saw that one a little bit earlier. Alright, four packs left. So you haven't done too bad. I think we've got a decent number of uh, V rarities so far. Uh, extensions, we already saw that one too. Uh, we haven't hit the W yet. The W would always be nice to hit being the, the rarest one in the set, but ooh, there's another Velocipede. Because it's the rarest one in the set, you can't always uh, hope to hit it. And Sparkle Beast again. So the last few packs we've uh, hit quite a lot of duplicates of the rare cards, but that's alright. It means we can go out and purchase some more. Alright, we have got Lutium Whelp. Which we already saw. Okay, final pack. Then we'll take a quick look 
again over the very rares and stuff that we got. All right, there's the last lot of commons, uncommons, and it's catwalk again. So it was uh, another duplicate. So let's have a look at how many V rares we got. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So we got five. I'm sure we got at least six. I saw the velocipede. One more time. I'm just going to have a quick check through and double check I didn't miss any others. Alright, so the only other one I did miss was the extra copy of Velocipedes. That was one, two, three, four, five, six. Six Vs, but three of them were the same, so only four different ones. I'm not sure how many total they had. Let's just have a quick check on that. Alright, kind of had a quick look at the list then. Looks like there are eight different uh, V cards, so got four of them, which, you know, it's not too bad. It just kind of sucks to get uh, two duplicates uh, in the box when, you know, they could have been extra ones, but getting half of them in one box is not too bad. Hopefully, I can speak to some people, maybe trade, maybe purchase the others. Alright, so hopefully, you enjoyed watching this booster box opening. And hopefully I will be back soon with some more Munchkin stuff, whether it's opening some more product or just, you know, showing off what we've already got if we manage to finish off any sets or anything like that. So thanks again for watching and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>